morning, after making the landfall, the typhoon has brought heavy winds and strong uh, rainfall to cities like uh, Taizhou, uh, Zhoushan, and Wenzhou in the Zhejiang province. And according to some uh, national, uh, uh, provincial data, uh, that over 200,000 people in the province have been evacuated to safe places, and around 20,000 vessels have returned to the safety waters. And so far, no casualty or wounded is reported. But the strong wind and uh, rainfall has brought a lot of inconvenience and traffic jam to locals. And we know that dozens of uh, flights and trains have been suspended or canceled. And for example, a high-speed train uh, G40 traveling from Hangzhou to Beijing was suspended last night in the uh, Langfang to Beijing section. And because of this color steel plates, it was blown up by the strong wind. And after several hours of repairs, the service has been resumed. And also, uh, due to the strong wind, uh, sharp plates just dropped in Shanghai at that time. And uh, three people were confirmed dead. Another six have been injured. And the investigation is still underway. Uh, we know the strong tropical storm will be weakened during the process of heading to northwest. And uh, the neighboring and surrounding provinces like Anhui and Jiangsu will have strong winds and rainfall in the next two days. Dong Ning. Well, Wu Lei, typhoons have been uh, hitting the areas of uh, Zhejiang, Jiangsu, and Shanghai, all in the east part of China, very frequently this last couple of months. Why is that? Indeed, Zhejiang and its uh, surrounding provinces have been really strike by so many typhoons in a short period of time. I'll just give you some numbers. Uh, from 1949 to August 2017, there were only 49 typhoons hit Zhejiang and its surrounding provinces, but Guangdong province had been hit by 166 typhoons in the same period of time. So you can see there is sharp comparison. And uh, some experts from the Chinese Meteorological Center says the main reason is there is a strong uh, subtropical ridge that may affect the path of the typhoons because typhoon always follows the edge of this ridge. So this year, the strong tropical, subtropical ridge moved south from, uh, moves from south to the north, so the typhoon just follows its edge. So we don't know how long this uh, a subtropical rage will continue, but uh, I'm sorry to say that in the next few months, more typhoons are likely to hit the coastal areas of China. So uh, people in the coastal areas are suggested to keep a close eye for the weather forecast, and related uh, flood control departments are suggested to uh, keep a close eye and make fully preparation in case of any emergencies. Don't